Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. You're looking at a brand new Walther Creed. Walther introduced the Creed not long ago, and this is your first video review of the Creed that has not been made by Walther. But here it is, guys. It's a, it's a nice looking handgun, it's a nice feeling handgun, and it feels quality made like the other Walthers that I own. The size is sort of an in-between a, a PPX and a PPQ, put you right in the middle there, and then you have the Creed. And the one thing I like about this gun is the price as well. The MSRP is $399, you have to believe the store price would be right around $350, I think that's a great deal for a gun of this quality. Walter was able to duplicate the grip, the ergonomics of this gun that so many people love with the PPQ and they were able to do that on the Creed and here we have a cross-directional non-slip grip that, that feels really nice. People love the, the ergos on, on the, the PPQ and it feels it feels essentially the same. I mean, if, if, if I were blindfolded and I grabbed either of these, I don't know that I'd be able to tell the difference. Another thing the Creed has that, that I think is super cool, and it does say Creed right on the bottom. That, that, that's kind of neat. But it does have this cutout right here in the grip and then serrations on the bottom of the mag. So in the event that that mag gets held up and it, go, you know, it won't release, you can grab right here and pull it out. Probably won't happen, but things like that have happened before. Here we have a nice, nice deployment with the mag. We have 16 rounds in the Creed with sight holes. Nice quality mags, as you would expect from Walther. Other features does have a 1913 rail down here. Serrations in the front for your press checks. Okay, and it does have the Walther insignia there. It says Creed. Stamped right across the slide there, and of course, your rear serrations as well. The slide stop is on the, the left side of the gun. That cannot be reversed to the other side. However, the magazine could be reversed for lefties to make this gun left-handed friendly. Three dot sights, and they are metal, and it's a hammer-fired gun. Now, the one thing that makes the Creed a little bit unique is the trigger. Walter calls it a pre-cocked double action trigger and I have to tell you when I first felt the gun and, and pulled the trigger I was like that that's a single action gun my FFL agreed he said this is a single action gun there's no other way to put it I double checked the Walther site they call it a pre-cocked double action trigger here's what they mean very light there you can see the hammer uh, just poke out of the back of the slide there and then you hit the wall and it just fires. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. It just fires. There's the the reset, and it's it's a unique feel. Now, the best way I could compare this would be to to my HK LEM. Now, here we have an LEM variant one, and it's the same kind of trigger action. You hit the wall there, and then it fires. It it feels very similar to the HK LEM. The major difference is. $650 plus gun, $350 gun. So you can see that the Walther offers a lot for the price that they are charging for this gun. And in the $300, it might be lower than that. I, that's just my guess, $350. Let's, uh, let's disassemble the gun. We'll lock the slide back. We'll take this lever here, push it down without needing to pull the trigger. We release the slide and it comes right off here. We have a captured recoil spring four inch barrel and everything else is as we would expect reassembly is very simple easy setup here no problem we'll go ahead and lock that slide back reassemble and there we go what do you say we load up a magazine we'll, we'll weigh the gun both unloaded and loaded see what 16 rounds what this package is going to weigh in at. Here we have an unloaded magazine. On the scale, the Creed's weighing in at 26 and 3 quarters ounces. And now we have a fully loaded magazine with 16 rounds. Weighing the Creed at 33 and 3 eighths ounces. So this gun could be carried comfortably without any issues. Let's do a quick size comparison with the Creed here and the PPQ here. And from this vantage point, you can see that there's not that great of a difference. 
I think we'll notice more when we look at the slide length. The Creed goes just under a half inch longer and then on the grip a little bit longer as well. Holds 16 rounds here as where the PPQ holds 15 rounds. Another difference is going to be the top of the slide. The, the Creed's a little more squared off as where the PPQ is not so much. It's a little bit more angled. You can see more from this angle here. These guns are unloaded, so I have no problem doing that, both verified. But I want you to look forward to a video because I'm going to do a comparison with these two guns. But overall, guys, I have to say this Creed is a nice looking gun, a very nice feeling gun, and it feels like quality. And I can't wait to get this to the range and give you guys my thoughts and impressions on the Walther Creed. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And you guys be safe.